This is the story of how I beat my worst week of Tarkov. What the f We've all had this moment right here, whether in Tarkov or in life. And the best thing I've learned to do in these times is to power through. No way, no way. So really, this is a story of powering through. I start every day with a scav run, looting lighthouse clean to get the day going. Now it's time for the first PMC run of the day. So I need something that can pack a punch. I kind of want to go with this SR25. I'm fresh from spawn, wanting to head to resort to grab Jaeger's photo book. But first, I gotta clear my flanks. I, I got... Oh, what the f***? No! What I thought was a solo was actually a juicy three-man. I tried to start my Tarkov days with little wins, especially after a quick loss like that. So the plan here, get a couple of scav kills to get warmed up and do a fairly easy quest. So I did courtesy visit. With the quest completed and a quick survive, I'm ready to try Jaeger's nostalgia again. We got, let's go. After the second attempt at nostalgia, I just felt like I wasn't feeling shoreline today. So I went into Lighthouse to mark tankers and do a bolty run to change things up. It's coming. But this was a short-lived raid as well, just a few minutes after spawn. At this point, I can feel that I'm getting into my own head here. I'm overthinking things and I'm being too worried about losing and dying. I gotta take it easy. So to break that cycle, I ran a quick scav run as a palate cleanser. So I did the usual, loot whatever I can and just get a quick survive. But then we met an unexpected friend on the way out. Hello? Is that a PMC? Oh my god. Are you a scab or a PMC? Hi! I'm not gonna shoot! I love you! Oh, you're a freaking scab. Okay, good, good. Hi, hi, hi. How you doing, man? I'm not gonna shoot, man. I'm not gonna shoot. No, I won't shoot. I won't shoot. Hi. Hello. There's a, there's a lot of loot there. I haven't really looted much. This guy seemed a little sketchy, and I was honestly expecting him to shoot me at the back of my head. But I put my trust in this stranger to at least let me survive a single scav raid since I couldn't survive a PMC run today. I think this guy's about to clap me at extra. I'm not even gonna look behind me. We're fine. This guy didn't say a word and followed me all the way to extract. I knew it was about to happen with my luck today. Man, I've been dying all day. How your raid's been? He's definitely checking how much space he has. Look at that. Checking again. Oh. Oh, what? For real? Oh, thanks, man. I've been dying all day, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. I haven't survived yet today. Oh, really? Thank you, man. You're too nice. Bye. Although his gift was a broken Saiga 9 I couldn't even sell to traders, it still meant a lot to me. He knew I was having it bad and just wanted to help in a small way. Thank you, stranger. With my morale raised a bit from that newfound friend, I ran Shoreline back to give Nostalgia another go. Good job, dude. I got completely outplayed. I can't even be mad about this. But I was happy we beat the 1v1 right before that. It gave me a little bit of that light at the end of the tunnel. I'm back in shoreline for another shot at this. It's time to put the losses behind and power through. Oh my god! Sorry about the technical difficulties. And again, it's time to power through. 
Oh my god, okay. I never got this raid started and I decided to call it a day. A tough first day of the week, but there's always tomorrow. Day two was quick. I did one raid because this was when we did our community night. If you guys want to see how the community PvP night went, check out the video on the top right of your screen. We made up our own game mode and it was super fun. It was a straightforward raid in Lighthouse. I looted what I could and marked one tanker for energy crisis and left. This takes us into day three where I ran Lighthouse to start the day to wrap up energy crisis. <laughs> Okay, what a start to the day, guys. This was the moment I realized I was putting too much pressure on myself to survive. I kind of froze up here not knowing my next move. Luckily, the enemy decided to just run off. From this point forward, internally, I switched up my mental game. To just have fun in the losses or wins and not to be too bummed out when I get clapped. And once I changed my mindset and I got to release that pressure, things changed. I loosened up a bit and ended up surviving this raid while marking a couple more tankers. And to top it all off, I got a nice little gift from the Tarkov gods. Oh, what the f***? I took what I could, got out, and ran back Lighthouse to mark my last tanker with this brand new mindset. Okay, that guy was just standing there. I think he's trying to ADS me. Is he juiced? It looks like a juicy gun. Oh. It's an RFB. I thought it was like a decked out SR25. <laughs> After this, I went straight to mark my last tanker. And to finally close this raid out, I gotta get to the drug lab to plant the Wi Fi cam. Oh, sh <laughs> Unlucky GG's. So I'm hopping in this next raid with a little more confidence and trying to shake off that rust. The plan here, head to water treatment to mark the chopper and plant the Wi-Fi cam at the drug lab. I couldn't see any of the rogues on building one, so I assumed they were dead until... That's kind of what I want to scope out first. Oh, oh shit, those are rogues. I thought the rogues were dead. You hear that chat? Okay, it's a, player, it's a player scav. Helmet save. Wear your helmets, chat. Always wear your helmet. With all that out of the way, I sniped this roof rogue, but still had one more, but had no angle on him. So I had to go up and deal with him. Or you know what? Maybe the one I killed was the second one already. Oh, oh never mind. Ouch. I just peeked and he immediately just yoinked me. I looted up both rogues, but then I heard company. Oh, I got a guy watching me here. Sorry. It's that time of the raid where player scabs are coming in hot. They're also looted up with rogue gear, so I gotta be extra careful.
It's like zombie swarms, man. Anyway, let's take this. Oh, um, sure that still have space there. Fill every damn slot. <laughs> oh, nine minutes. Do we have nine minutes? If we drop the bag and we sprint our balls off, I think we have nine minutes. With under 10 minutes to go, I don't have time to do both quests. I decided to just go for marking the chopper before heading for extract. I can do the drug lab next time, but then we have even more company. I can hear jumping, so that means he's going for the roof. Okay, that was him. Now I'm pretty confident that we're clear. I beeline for the chopper, mark it, grab my bag, and crawl my way home with under two and a half minutes left on the clock. This was absolute clutch. Awesome raid. I really needed this. GG's. With our confidence back, I'm in Lighthouse again to finish off the drug lab quest. I'm fresh from spawn and we're heading to the water treatment facility. Oh sh. Oh sh. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's the worst. Is that a player? That was a player's scav. Despite the loss, I'm not too crazy bummed about it. I was caught at the wrong time and wrong place. GG's. I'm still in Lighthouse for the drug lab. And in this raid, I'm going to show you guys how I like clearing rogues. First, I'm going to get on these metal stairs and snipe the grenade launcher rogue. Got him. Then we're going to cross through the left side of the bridge and stick to the shoreline, run through the grotto, then take an angle on building one rogues from this hillside. Okay, we dropped one rogue. From the same angle, we're gonna turn our attention to the right side and get the front machine gun a rogue. This head. Unfortunately, I did whiff here, but you get the idea. I'm now gonna head into building one, then get into the second floor rooms on the east side of the building. We'll use the windows here to clear building three and building two rogues. I don't see any rogues on building three, so we're gonna focus on the building two roof. Down. Two rogues down. Three rogues down. The last rogue I have to deal with is right above me. All we gotta do is exit the north side of building one and kill him from right under. There's still one guy up here. There we go. I'm now clear to head to the drug lab. There could also be rogues at the chopper area, but I don't have to deal with them for this quest. I planted the Wi-Fi and survived. A quick and easy raid. GG's. I feel like we're slowly turning this week around from bad to good. My morale is climbing, and this is timely as well since we're about to start on Punisher 3, which will definitely need a bit of mental fortitude. So we're in customs to start on Punisher 3, and the plan was just to keep heading towards wherever my extract is and kill scabs along the way. That's a garbage bin. You son of a... I got him. I was so lucky. Oh, I shot a shotgun in a bush. Remember when I said I felt like my week was finally turning from bad to good? I really felt like it was, especially at this moment. It just took a change in mindset and small wins. Honestly, Tarkov is such a big mental game more than we think. Big win here. Back in customs again to do the same. And then I saw a duo in fortress and I felt confident that I could get him with a nice snipe. I see one there. That's him. Multiple, two. They never stood still, so I just couldn't line up a shot. And then they got danger close. Two, two, they both jumped the wall. A 
I just didn't have enough stopping power for that moment. I repositioned just to be safe, but eventually found out they extracted via old gas. The good news, we got three scavs and we're out of here. I ran it back and started at the water warehouse. I got a quick scav kill then moved on to the fortress area. Then we got juicy shots over at crack, so I wanted to get a sniper angle on it. You know what? Let's see if I could... Okay, I'll do my bolty angle. I have this favorite sniper angle from the fortress stairs looking down at a crack house, so that was the plan. Let's not talk about that. It. it took me one whole mag to beat someone who wasn't looking at me. There, right there, right there. They're moving left or right to left here. I might get counter sniped here, I'll be honest. When I'm in crack, I check this angle every now and then. So I won't be surprised if this guy actually checks me here. Fuck, someone's on me. I have two mags. It's a boss. My plan here was to loot boss quickly, then loot my PMC kill, and bounce out of this raid. That's a cute looking... Oh, he's got a... He's got a big pipe. Pun intended. Dude, this guy is so juiced. Holy crap. I'm hoping they just stay by crack. I hope I'm clear to loot this guy here. You, dude. I'm, I'm, fuck, I'm out of stamina. What a well placed nade. GG's. After three customs raids in a row, I wanted to switch it up to keep myself sane. I moved over to Shoreline to try my hand at nostalgia again, which I failed over and over again earlier in the week. We got some spicy stuff straight out of spawn. Okay. Okay. I don't know where this guy is. Where is he, dude? I don't know where he is. Is he up top? No, he's he has to be on my level. Oh sh! It's behind me as well. I have to push one of these guys really hard. My stamina is really tough to manage when pinched between these two guys. What is this? I got absolutely demolished from both sides. GG's. We begin day four blasting scavs and customs. This was a pretty great start. Six scav kills for Punisher 3 to start the day. But then, getting out of this raid wasn't gonna be that easy. Oh, oh, Jesus. That guy's getting sniped. That's not nice. Where's he getting sniped from though is my question. I thought I could ahead could get a head tap there.
That was great teamwork there. I got bamboozled and thought his teammate was coming from behind. GG's. In the next couple of raids, I was in this weird flow state where I kept running customs back and blasting through scabs. Until this happened. What the hell was that? Is that, a, is that a grenade lock? Oh, is that big pipe? Oh, sh**. Oh, f**k. Can you die? I'm in a completely different mindset than I was at the start of the week. I'm just having fun, blasting through raids, win or lose. I didn't even realize this was my last Punisher 3 kill. But the job's not over. I still gotta deal with the rest of the goons and survive. No! Wrong button! Chamber. A mega potato moment. I fat fingered check chamber, which I've bound to middle mouse button for a while now, and was caught in the middle of the animation while Bird Eye pushed me. Nonetheless, huge raid. We finished Punisher 3 and had a decent showing against the goons. I have a bunch of guns I've saved for PMC killing quests like Punisher 4, and it's now time to blast through them. First up, the P90. It was a fairly quiet resort run so far with no signs of other PMCs, so I decided to wait for info. See if you hear any footsteps coming in or whatever. Now I'm legit blind. I was memeing earlier. That sucks. It's been a while since I've been blinded by a KS-23. It's still painful, I'll tell you that. But it's all good. We go next. Nothing like a classic Tarkov death straight out of spawn. With three losses in a row, it's time to change it up. Let's bring out that Balti. I heard shots in the west wing of resort, so I made my way to the south side of the compound to see if I could get a quick snipe in. I did a wide flank to the left, but unfortunately lost my target. And then I heard running. See if we could stop him. Where'd he go? Imagine he's going to go to customs, but he's totally lost them. Oh, there he is. This looked like a different PMC, but nonetheless, that's one on the scoreboard for Punisher 4. I also noticed he was aiming down behind him before we killed him, so I went forward to clear the direction our victim was looking at, assuming he was aiming down at another PMC. I didn't find anyone, but then this happened. I should have not gone for that shot. I got greedy. Oh, he's trying to lose that. I left this PMC alone and tried to get Jaeger's photo book in the West Wing while these guys seem to be busy at the East. Grenade started raining towards me, so I disengaged and double back. My plan was to go back to the first guy I sniped, loot him, leave, and take that win. But just like anything in Tarkov, you gotta expect the unexpected. Oh, f He's got 
a teammate. Remember that bush, chat. Remember the bush. Whiffed. on my trajectory. Let's go back, let's go back up. I can't see him anymore. Oh, there. Oh, that felt like it was on point. It wasn't. Too high. If I get pushed by his teammate, I gotta be careful. I gotta remember their uh, their two. They're checking the bushes. Can't hit these moving shots, man. Finally. 20,000 shots later, yeah? I'm on my last few bullets. that was gonna be the last time we saw this guy i was forced to disengage because i'm out of energy and almost out of hydration i did leave my bag behind and all that loot but what really matters is getting those punisher 4 kills and surviving i did eventually find food in the resort before heading off into the sunset chi -chi's. because of how successful that bolt he raid was i ran it back i made my way to the south side of resort again like last time but things weren't the same Oops. I got caught in a bad spot by a duo and did what I could. GG's. That loss wasn't gonna stop me from running another bolty raid though. We're back again for more Punisher 4 snipes. I'm in gas just warming up on some scavs and then... I whiff that sh a frustrating whiff there. I decided to cross over to the other side and stalk this guy, but I never really found him. Then I heard shots back in gas, so I decided to go check that out. I see him. It's a two man. And the freaking. Oh. No! I, I knew I saw someone there, but I just. I was just like, no, I think I saw the guys in gas. GG. Painful death, but we're doing okay. We got that solid raid earlier with three snipes, and I'm satisfied with that. I've lost a lot of money this week from all our losses, so today was going to be mostly Lighthouse to try and get some money back to do more Punisher 4 attempts. <laughs> oh, it's two guys. Oh. Yeah, we killed each other. That was the first few minutes of the first raid of the day. Talk about starting a day with a bang. In this next one, I'm crossing to water treatment, but as I'm crossing... Oh, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy. Running right to left in the trees. If I commit, I'm gonna die. I have to go back. I need to kill this PMC before committing to a cross. But I couldn't find him in the trees until... Friendly, friendly, friendly. You want to team up? Yeah, yeah, I'm a PMC, but there's a PMC in the woods right now in front of me. Can to help me? I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm friendly. I won't shoot. There's a PMC here in front of me. 
What about command? Oh, they just left it. Hey, 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 hey. You wanna, you wanna, wait, wait, wait. I won't shoot, I won't shoot. You wanna team up as well? I'm, I'm, I'm for real, I'm for real. I won't shoot. Knife out, knife out. He's in front, he's in front. Hello. Hi, let's all team up. Three man, you down? Oh, you wanna, you wanna chill? Let's yeah. chill, let's chill. Oh, there you are. Yeah, three man, come on. Uh, where are you guys from? Okay. Uh, I'm from Korea. Korea, how about you, uh, PMC? No mic? Okay, it's nothing. Where are you from? Philippines. Ah. Oh. Okay, building one seems dead. Unless uh, they're ground. Building two dead as well. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Building one. Careful for the ground rogues. I don't know if they're up. Let's go on, boys. Let's go on. Alright, go, 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 go. FBI! <laughs> <laughs> FBI open up! That, that was the nicest yeah. FBI agent chat. He's like the most polite. <laughs> FBI. He's so polite. Oh. Rogues, rogues, rogues. Fucker, straight ahead. And frog. To the right, to the right, careful. Is he, is he dead? Oh. Yep, yep. Well played, well played, well played. Careful though, the second rogue. One more, one more. Is he inside? I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay. We're good, we're good. You can loot him. You should, we should be clear. It's only two, right? Ah, there's one more. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hurt? Are you bleeding? Are you bleeding? I see him. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Here, here. Oh, French. You're not dying. You're not dying. You're gonna live with me. I wonder where our uh, PMC friend is. Think he's dead. Um, I think. Um, yes. Take your time. Take your time. I'll cover you. Good. No, it's clear. Gotcha. I'm here to your right. I'm, I'm in front of the door you just closed. Okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm. Uh, it's clear? I think clear. Gotcha, gotcha, I'm just looting. I'm gonna check second floor if our friend's body is there. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, He's level 36. This. <laughs> His dead uh, style is pretty. He's sitting down, having a good time. <laughs> you have industrial zone, yeah? Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to extract northern uh, extract. Oh, may I? Uh, CMS? One more piece. Oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Here. This is here, sir. Right here. No, no, no. Here. Thank you. No worries, man. Someone just got up from prone. Sounds. Friendly! Friendly! I got, I got one, I got one, I got one. Oh shit. Yours. Oh, oh, oh. And some. There's one more, there's one more, there's one more. He's going to the stairs, he's going to the stairs. Let's go. Let's move backwards. You wanna try to extract? Let's try to extract. He's not gonna go down. I think he's a little scared. Okay. Let's go to your extract first. I'm scary. Go, go, go. I will, I'll cover you. I'll cover you. Okay. GG! Thanks for playing. GG, man. Enjoy. No worries. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. GG, GG. This honestly made up for all the bad vibes and getting Tarkov all week. I live for these raids. GG's. This next raid was just a lot of looting, then I extracted. Nothing too crazy. I just needed to make some cash. I've made a fair amount of money today so far, and I'm going for one more farming run before heading back to Shoreline for another run at Punisher 4. I spawned at the old village here in Lighthouse, and before I could get to the water treatment, this happened.
Here's a shotgun. Let's let's use our range. Oh, here there's a DVL as well. Not a door right here. I'm assuming this is a duo, so I'm gonna try to get a big flank on them to the right. shot no from someone else unlucky there we got third partied from someone at the new village but at least we got one ggs we're back in shoreline for an attempt at punisher 4 since i feel we've had enough lighthouse for the day i'm back rocking a bolt action loadout just a few minutes after spawn i heard a loud ak just popping off at weather so i decided to stock it from the perimeter and try to catch this guy for a free snipe unfortunately i didn't get my chance and he slipped away after losing him minutes later i hear more shots Oh, there it is, there it is. He's in gas. Yeah, yeah, I think that's him. I then heard him fighting at the pier, so I decided to push it and hold a tight angle on him till I realized that this was a bad idea. Scabs have compromised my position, so now I'm pinched. Scabs are still alive there. Okay, PMC is still somewhere here. This PMC is playing it smart and staying tucked, knowing I'm in a vulnerable position. He doesn't have to peek me, so he never did. My 6 o'clock felt too vulnerable, so I hopped out of this position and tried to get a sniper angle on him from the rocks until... Oh sh... You read me so good. Oh sh... I'm getting outplayed by this guy so bad. I'm getting caught by everything he's doing. By everything I'm doing. Oh what the f We crossed the road, okay? That was him. I'm almost... My... My... Quran's almost down. Good fight, dude. Good fight. This was one of my favorite fights ever. It felt like a game of chess. Well played by this guy. He almost had me. Chichis. I looted him, got out safe, and that's one more to punish her for. Because of how intense that last fight was, I wanted to decompress in a scav run. But this raid ended up being more intense. flank around here. I assume he's gonna be a little worried like where the hell is this guy? So I think I have time to flank. He's got he's got a face shield. Yes. 
juicy position. I need, I need to leg meta this next guy. He's super juiced. I think he's on his friend's body. single bullet. I could not hold back my tears. This was just insane. You cannot make this stuff up. Only in Tarkov do you get moments like this. Today, we're gonna focus on finishing Punisher 4. We're in Shoreline for the first raid of the session, still with a bolt action loadout, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. My plan here was to backtrack and clear out the spawns behind me. And then I may have heard someone creeping. This guy was definitely on his flashbang kills quest. I can't believe I won that, but GG's to him. I got into the nearest house to heal up, and now time to properly loot our kill. Point blank. Tarkov gods. I ain't no landmark. You can't just send half the server at me. But GG's. On the bright side, we're 5 PMC kills into Punisher 4. We're in gas just a few minutes after spawn because I heard shots at the pier. So I'm staying patient until our target comes out. Maybe for some reason my raid alerts were turned off. But uh, thank you. Thank you for the raid. Yeah. And that is kill number 6. Right after this, I heard shots in power, so I rotated to get an angle on it. So he's in power. The problem is I don't know which side. Well, it's working what he's doing. This man is the greatest freestyle dancer in all of Tarkov. What a play. And unfortunately, I never saw this guy again. I disengaged and went into the resort because I heard shots in there. This might be Sanitar. Sanitar. 
We're getting double keyed or not. We need a right hand peek on them. I think we could um, go to the other side. Okay. When fighting in Tarkov, I try my best to get a right hand peek. It just makes life so much easier. So I'm going to rotate to the other side of the building to get right hand peeks on the remaining two. Ouch. While healing up, I heard Sanitar run into the room across me. He went in there, didn't he? With Sanitar and the boys finally clear, we looted up and survived. Next up, I'm approaching resort from the chopper side to get more Punisher 4 kills. And then, I hear shots nearby. Talk about helmets, what the hell? Oh, pink between two guys. It was a duo, not a solo. I thought I was being stealthy, but they knew. GG's. Remember the start of the week where I kept dying over and over again with rifles and SMGs in Shoreline? It's the reason why I ended up maining sniper loadouts this week. But after days of building up my confidence and slowly turning this bad week into a good one, I'm ready to run rifles again. So we brought out everyone's favorite RD704. solo to a basement instead of second second's too predictable because it's a barbed wire yep he threw it here though i think he knows i'm flanking he's pushing the hallway This is what I love about PvP in the resort. There are so many ways to approach a fight. I can change levels in multiple ways. So after mag dumping my opponent there, I'm gonna use the nearby stairs to just reposition and keep him on his toes. Wait a minute. I just heard wood footsteps. That's a big giveaway on his exact position. So I'm committed to a push. Heard the wood the wood was but there's one more set of footsteps it's a three man okay so i want you guys watching this video to pay close attention to the sound you'll hear next that's a gun drop this guy is trying to dump his friend's gear even if he knows i'm still around and the only thing that's on my mind right now is if i beat this guy i'm finding that gun Sounds like he's above. I could be wrong. Oh, it was weird. MP7. I can hear him. Whatever. Just reposition after this. Oh, there he is. 
This guy had his laser on and it was a dead giveaway. Chichis. As I looted this three man, they're actually fairly geared. And one of them was missing an M4. So he had uh, some sort of M4. Remember that gun drop we heard earlier? That's the M4. I'm not kidding when I say that I spent about an extra 20-25 minutes looking for this gun, checking every single corner, but I couldn't find it. Until Beastme from my chat told me to check the closed door by the chopper entrance. And I'm pretty convinced it isn't here anyway since we never heard a door open or close. Someone in chat asked why I spent so much time to find that M4. And Dingo said it best here. It's not about the money, it's about sending a message. We're one kill away from finishing PMC kills for Punisher 4. I'm an admin and I hear PMC shuffling around. It sounds like he's upstairs, but I'm generally confused. That scared the hell out of me. GG's. Still needing one more Punisher 4 kill. We're running it back with an AK-101. I'm freshly spawned in and I hear a squad stomping their way through the cottage area. We got greedy. His luck still. Got a chauffeur done. Okay, they're both done. GG. <laughs> he shot my leg off though. Is there more? Oh, there's one more! <laughs> After healing up, the plan is to make the biggest flank I can make to reset the fight and hopefully catch this guy off guard. Let's see if I can do a long flank. I don't know if it's gonna work though. He might see he might see this cross. Whatever. Okay, it's a matter of him reading this. If he reads it, GG. So I, I imagine our advantage is he's gonna wanna try to get his friend's gear. It's two guys, so maybe we have time to play it slow. Yep, SKS. GG! <laughs> That's the third guy. Three man wipe complete, and more importantly, Punisher 4 PMC kills complete. And this is how we turned a bad week into a good one. If you enjoyed this week of Tarkov and want to see more, you'll enjoy this next video right here.